My name is Jacques Lefleur. Uh, I am captain in Emerald this boat for five years now. Uh, before coming here, I was captain in a, a big passenger ship in France, in my country, for 20, 22 years. And uh, now I come here. My duty is to is mainly for the safety, for the navigation, and prot uh, environmental protection. So I will ex I will show you. Uh, this place is to navigate, to drive the boat, to control the engine, but also to control of the safety on the boat. So I will show you now uh, all the equipment we have in this uh, place, in this boat. Uh, of course, before I was captain of a big ship, they could carry more 2,000 passengers. But now uh, this boat is uh, could carry 80 guests. But in fact, the equipment is nearly the same. It will be the same uh, big passenger boat. You know? And the training is the same. So we implement the international standard for safety in this boat, exactly the same way in the big passenger ship. I will explain, I will show you some uh, what the equipment, navigation equipment and safety equipment we have in this boat. So we could control everything from here. That is the radio VHF. We could communicate with all the boat around the, the, our boat and also uh, the, uh, the port authorities. That is the engine. We could control the engine from there. We have two engines. The power. Each engine are 450 volts. So we have two propeller in this ship. Most of the ship, most of the ship in Halong Bay, they have only one propeller. But this boat has two propeller. And if we need to turn quickly. We have one more propeller on the boat to help the boat to, to turn quickly. That is our GPS. This uh, GPS comes from Japan and it indicates the course and the speed of the boat permanently. That is the compass. Here is the rudder position indicator, so we know exactly when we drive the boat, we know exactly what is the position of the rudder on the back of the boat. That is the echo sounder. We know all the time what is the depth below the boat. So now, at this position, we have seven meters below the boat. That is the radar. This radar, we could see the boat is at about 200 meters. You know, this boat is about 200 meters. But this radar, we could see the Halong Bay in 25 miles, for nearly 40 kilometers. But of course, we don't need, uh, we need to check the boat around. That is a uh, water tight door system. The water tight door system, uh, like the big passenger ship, is compulsory. If we have an accident, if we are floating on the boat, we could close the flood space quickly. So this boat cannot sink because if as soon we have an accident, we close the door and the boat will not sink. Only one space floating. That is the GPS, is a new one. A new one GPS. You see in is in the we are in Halong Bay. We record already all the way. And in case of bad visibility, 
we need to follow the trace, the track. If we are not on the trace, we will have an alarm to indicate the captain you are not in the right trace, in the right way. At Encore, for example, for last night, we know the position of the boat. If during the night the boat moves from the position, this GPS will indicate also. Will indicate also we move from the position. And we have many, many other alarms also. That is very, it's a very, it's very nice GPS. Yeah. This equipment uh, comes from the US. That is the other radio, uh, VHF. This radio, GF, uh, v, uh, VHF, is channel 16. So it's an emergency channel. All the boat, all the boat, at sea, including Halong Bay, was watched in this channel. All the boat. And everywhere, including in Europe or in the US. That is a fire alarm system. Every room, every cabin on the boat, we have a heat or smoke detector. If the temperature increases or smoke, if we have smoke in the cabin, we will have an alarm here. We will have an alarm here. So we know exactly where is the problem. So we will check quickly and if necessary, we will start the emergency procedure for firefighting. This system also works with pushing buttons. That means everybody on board, if they see something wrong, a fire or something like that, they could start the alarm and it's the same. We will have the alarm here in the warehouse. It will be the same. All this equipment work with the 220 uh, electricity power. We have two generators on the boat. Well, if one generator stops, the second generator starts. But also, we have a system of emergency power by battery in 25 volt. So all the navigation equipment and all the safety equipment works could work with 24 volts in case of no power in 222 volts. So we have all the time sure we have power on the boat for safety and navigation equipment. All the day but also all the night the staff, the crew, check the boat. The position of the boat, the safety and also if some guests they need care or they need something, the staff are available for us. And they must, we, we could check, we could control the staff work all the night with this uh, fingerprint system. So every morning the captain could check the staff at night did his duty. That is the, the last one alarm we have on the boat is the navigation light. The navigation light is very important when we when we cruise at night and uh, that is all the light on the boat on the mast. If one light stop is too much no? we have also an alarm. So I know one light is stopped. And if one light stops, the second will start automatically. And also, that is a 220 power, but also if we have lack of power here, we have navigation light in 24 volt in battery. So this place is my office, is my uh, second home. We have all the most sophisticated instruments in Halong Bay. 
I am confident it's, uh, we could bring in safe way our guests in any weather condition, any weather condition. And uh, I am looking forward to welcome you on board.